Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do. It is going to be a chatty get ready with me on this fall makeup look right here. But I'm also gonna be chatting about my top 10 essentials for fall. I have a few makeup and beauty products, but I also just have some random stuff, some clothing style around the house. And I'm really excited to chat with you about that. Before we get into the look, I did also want to say that there is a sponsor on today's video and this video is sponsored by e.l.f. Cosmetics. Thank you so much to e.l.f. Cosmetics for working with me again. I'm really excited to use some of their new products in this look. I have an eyeshadow palette from them, but I'm also using some of their different face duos. And I also have the Sheer Slick Lipsticks. So I'm going to be incorporating some of their products into this look. So another thank you to e.l.f. for sponsoring this video and for you guys for giving me these opportunities because it is very cool. I'm also going to be using the Kevin Aquan foundation balm because a lot of you have requested to see that one in action We're just gonna be doing this fall makeup look while chatting a fall essentials. So let's go ahead and get started Hello well, I now see the reason why I usually curl my hair after I am done getting ready because we're we're just gonna have to deal with this situation I've been putting my ears on multiple different ways and this just keeps happening. So you're welcome. I'm gonna start with my eyes first. I clearly have one eye started already, but I am just gonna add a little bit of lip balm first. When I was first making my list, I initially had like 27 fall essentials on there. There was a ton of them, but I had included lip balm and then I took it off for my top 10. So technically this isn't a part of the 10, but I still wanted to mention it and use it. I'm just, I'm just a rebel. You just never know what I'm gonna do. I have these two different shades. So the one in Tough Cookie, I do like. It's gonna give you a little bit more, uh, a little bit more color. But then also the one in Mighty Mint. This is what I have been using in the morning, and I just put a little bit on my finger, and then run that on my lips. You might be able to tell from the name that it does have a little bit more of that that minty smell and that minty flavor. It's not. It doesn't like really make my lips like really tingle or anything like that. And it is just a clear balm. So a lot of times I'll just do this in the morning. Again, after my AM routine, I always do include a lip balm. Right, now that the lips are prepped, I am gonna start with the eyes and then we're gonna start officially on my top 10 list of fall essentials. But of course, one of my fall essentials is a fall eyeshadow palette, obviously. I did do a video recently on my top 10, though technically it was 11, cause again, you just, <laughs> You just never know with me. I did my top 10 fall eyeshadow palettes. So I will link that one up in the cards if you want to see more and some of my favorites to use for fall. But in there, I did mention this one here from e.l.f. Cosmetics and this is their pumpkin pie bite-sized eyeshadow palette. I'm using the second shade. And I was just kind of focusing on the inner and outer, but then I kind of, you know, I just like blend things together. It's fine. It's fine. And then I'm going to use the last shade here, which is more of a golden shimmer, and the Sigma Cream Color E58. And I'm going to pop that one in the center just to give the middle of the lid a little pizzazz. Also, one of the first items that I wrote down on my fall essentials list is a new item to me, and that is my air fryer. I've had people recommending that I get an air fryer for a long time now. I've had an air fryer on my wish list for a long time now, but I recently got one and I am living for it. I'm living for it. Quarantine has turned me into a different person. I've always called myself an undomestic goddess after the amazing book by Sophie Kinsella, where the main character's name is actually Samantha. Did Sophie write that book about me? Perhaps. I've just never really wanted to be in the kitchen. I've never, I've just, I don't really enjoy that. I have very little patience. I feel like cooking requires patience and you gotta be like checking on things. You know how many times I've started to boil water and forgot about it and then hours later it's just evaporated? Many times. I'm gonna go ahead and take the first shade here with this Sephora Pro Crease 24 brush. I'm just going to work that into the crease just to have a little bit of blend. So I, like I said, recently got this air fryer and I have been loving it. We've done so many different things in it from just like regular chicken. I mean, you know, that's totally fine. But we also did the fun things uh, like the cheese balls. We also did one where we took little baby bell cheeses and then we crushed up Doritos. Then you had to do the thing where you dip the cheese in like flour and an egg and then the Doritos and then like the flour and the egg and the Doritos. We did that, big fan. 
I was a big fan. There's just so many different things. Chicken strips we've done, but the other night, but the other night, I made corn on the cob in the air fryer. I didn't even know that was something that you could do. I found the recipe on the TikTok and I was like, what? She just put corn in there? And if you don't know, I'm from Iowa. If you don't know anything about Iowa, we're kind of known for corn. Everybody loves corn here. And I do love corn on the cob. Usually we'll make it in the on the grill, but I really don't know how to operate a grill. I don't know how to turn it on. I don't really know anything that I, like what I'm doing when it comes to the grill. So I don't like that. And then I know the other way that you can do it is like boiling it in like a big old pot. And then you like throw all the corn in there. As I referenced earlier, I'm the girl that forgets I'm boiling water. So I just, I don't like making corn by myself. So when I saw this, I was like, I'm going to try it in the air fryer. Woo! It worked out so well. It took 10 minutes. 10, I had two no, three ears of corn in there. You just did some uh, vegetable oil on the corn, seasoned with some salt and pepper. I like to put aluminum foil down. I've seen someone recommend that for the air fryers because it's like less cleaning, kind of like, I think of it as like a crock pot bag for the crock pot, super easy. Crock pot, also great for fall, but my air fryer is my new baby. And then I did them on 400 for 10 minutes and honestly, it probably only needed like eight minutes or a lower heat for 10 minutes. It was super fast, it was super easy, tasted so good. I do, I like to put a little bit of mayo on my corn and then I sprinkled it with a little bit of paprika. I was so happy, but there's so many things that I'm going to be able to do in the air fryer. Again, air fryer, crock pot, but just something where it's gonna like simplify your meals because the grilling is coming to a stop. We're still really not going out to eat as much. So just to be able to have that and it's just like fast, eat, like I definitely would recommend an air fryer. I'm kind of mad that I didn't have it sooner, but I feel like right now, like I'm really, like I'm full on taking advantage of it. I'm gonna move over to my face and one of the items that I put on my list as a fall essential is, this is when I start to move over into a little bit more coverage with my foundations. I'm not a big full coverage girl, like full, full coverage, but during the warmer months, I tend to really go lighter, tinted moisturizers, BB creams, light coverage foundations like the Dior Backstage. But then as we get into the colder months, for some reason, I then start to go, to, like my, my preferences just change and I start to go for a little bit more coverage. So when I was looking at my foundations and trying to decide which one to do, I was like, oh, I feel like I have to do this one because it's from Kevin Aquan and it is the foundation balm. I mentioned this one recently in a video and I said how it got a lot of bad reviews in the beginning, including myself. I did not love it off first impression. And the more I used it, the more I realized how to use it and how to make it look the best on me. And so many people asked if I would use this foundation in a tutorial or get ready with me. But my shade is medium FB06. If you guys are interested, I did also recently post a foundation declutter my declutter series is back first what i'm gonna do is hydrate my skin i'm gonna use a more hydrating primer this is what i like to do when i use the kevin aquan this one is from lawless beauty and it is the hydrating primer serum with the kevin aquan balm the first thing that i would say is that uh <laughs> I would not recommend to use a brush with it. It comes with the brush. It's like a $52, $54 foundation, which is very expensive. I recommend using a sponge. I have a damp one here. This is from Ofer Cosmetics. I definitely recommend a sponge. I don't recommend the brush it comes with. I don't recommend a brush at all. So I'm just gonna start off with a small amount and I'm just gonna start to build it on my skin. And I'm just gonna take my time. It's a little bit more of a finicky foundation I will say that, like it's not the easiest. I don't reach for it super often just because I know I have to be a little bit more aware of like what products I'm mixing with it and how I'm applying it, but I do like it. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit more. It took me just a few moments to blend that out. And if you can see from one side of my face to the other side of my face, I think that it looks really nice. It just takes a few minutes to blend it out and build it up to where I want it. 
but it covers so beautifully without looking too heavy. All right, so that's it. So it didn't take a lot of time. I like the coverage on it. You only need a small amount of product. Right, I'm gonna like use my Kevin Aquan concealer. This is the Supernatural Concealer. I have the shade Light EC2. This is in my Shop My Stash bag. I am filming an update to my Shop My Stash after I get done with this Get Ready With Me. So stay tuned because a update on that will be coming soon. With this concealer, you only need a small amount. I don't think this concealer is available anymore. I'm just gonna do a little dot on the outer part of my eye to help clean up my concealer and then also kind of help lift the eye. I've been really liking this way to apply concealer. I'm just gonna use my sponge and then I kind of drag the concealer down and then start to tap it along my eye. And then I'm gonna use the concealer that I put out here to again kind of clean up that shadow and then also lift my face so another fall essential to me and again i live in the midwest so a i know we're not all going into the fall season that's okay or our, our climates are different but especially when i think of fashion and i think of fall i think of like a cozy oversized sweater i got a new one recently it was from amazon so i was wearing it in a video recently but i will show you here so it is just this comfy sweater. I will say I got a size small and it's not as like oversized as some of my sweaters. It, it's a little bit shorter. I mean, it's it's a little bit past my waist, but it's not like super, super oversized, but I did feel like the sleeves kind of were. And how cute are these sleeves? Just like the whole color, the whole like color pattern I thought was fun. It does have the turtleneck here. And then the back has this pattern and they had a few different ones um, with like different patterns on here. So yeah, I thought that was a good price. I really like the sweater. I feel like I'm going to be wearing it a lot. I might grab another one in another pattern because there was a few that I was thinking about getting. If you like something really oversized, I would say maybe go up a size. To me, I think the small was pretty good though. That was, that'd probably be what I would order the next time too, but definitely cozy sweater makes me think of fall. I'm just gonna lightly set my concealer using my Charlotte Tilbury powder. With the Kevin Aquan, I don't like to go too heavy on the powder just because it is a little bit more mattifying uh, for me it just gets to be a little much but you know that can be your preference but i like the charlotte powder because it's just a little bit more lightweight another fashion fall essential to me again could be a climate thing but is boots now i do like the taller boots i don't own a ton for myself i also recently got these and i thought that i would show you well i got them a couple months ago i bought them well i bought them before quarantine i've only worn them once so far outside of my house but you know that's okay but how cute are these okay do i need to stand up again how cute are these booties again long heels or long boots i feel like those totally make sense too for fall but these are just kind of like they make me feel kind of bossy i'm not sure i'll be able to find the same ones but i will try to find something similar and i will be putting all of these uh in my description box but <laughs> yes please fall essential i'm just gonna do a little contour with the balm take home the bronze i'm using a bk beauty 106 brush also i feel like another fall essential is a good old candle hello we cannot talk about fall without talking about candles i'm not gonna lie though i'm not a big candle person my husband mitch is actually more of a candle person than I am. He's the one that usually remembers to like light them, also blow them out, kudos. He's the one that will start to pull them out like as we get, as like the weather turns a little bit cooler, maybe we turn our AC off and you know, the sweatshirts are coming out, all of a sudden he'll pull a candle out and I'm like, where did you even have that? How did you, where did you even know the candle existed? Sometimes you just have to find that right candle and then you're like, hey, I'm actually kind of obsessed with this and for me, it is this one. It is this one. I purchased this from Target. It is from the Studio McGee line. I will try to link it. This line sells out really quickly when it comes to Target, but I keep finding these in store. This is the Sandalwood Tobacco um, Candle. Obviously, it is gigantic. I loved this so much. I purchased this for the living room. I actually purchased another one, th this one, for our basement because I love it that much. And again, I'm not a big candle person. The actual aesthetic of it is beautiful. If you saw my living room makeover, it's very like, I have a lot of natural elements in there. So I feel like this one went really well with it. But something about just like how large and 
in charge it is i was like this is a boss candle it smells so good it kind of has more of that spicy scent to it so i also thought it would be good for fall but like it said like tobacco sandalwood it's not overwhelming though because sometimes we'll just be sitting on the couch or something and then all of a sudden we can get like a whiff of it at the same time and mitch has said so many times he's like you did such a good job picking out that candle and i was like <laughs> I mostly just bought it because it was pretty. It smells beautiful. It makes the house smell like fall, especially once you light it. And then you can obviously get more of the aroma to it. I, I so hope that I can find it so I can link it. But honestly, if you just go into a Target, the Studio McGee line, she has amazing things. I've purchased so many from that line. And so something I'm excited to share in this video are the new face duos from e.l.f. Cosmetics. So I purchased a few so I can try them out in these videos. I'm going to be using these three different ones here just so you can see a little bit of a variety. But, you know, I obviously love the Bite Size Eyeshadow Palettes. So when they dropped the duos, I was like, yes, please. So I'm going to do, I'm actually going to use the one in Coconut. And I'm going to do a little bit of bronzer here. And I'm just going to lightly tap this one over. And then I'm going to use the blush side in the lychee. I'm going to use the 107. And then I'm just going to use a little bit more of that powder. And I'm going to kind of clean that up. I've been trying to do this more because I feel like it can just make the makeup looks look a little bit like sharper. Because sometimes I'm like, ah, bronzer. Like, you know, I love bronzer so much. But then I'm like, okay, Samantha. I'm going to go ahead and spray my face. I've been trying this one out from Milk Makeup. This is the Hydro Grip. I've been really liking it. So I'm going to spray my face, and then I'm going to do my brows off camera. All right, I did add a little bit of liner to my waterline. I used this one from Charlotte Tilbury, and I used the Copper Matte Aside. I'm going to mix the two matte shades on a pencil brush. Add this to my lower lash line. All right, so when it comes to fall essentials again living where the climate does change and get cooler so i have two products to mention under here one specifically specifically for the face and then one for the body for the face i've mentioned this one before this is from a pharmacy this is their honey potion renewing antioxidant hydration mask it comes with your little scoop on the top this is, it's a warming mask. When you first start to rub it in, it feels a little bit warm. You leave it on for about 10 minutes, but every time I've actually, you can see the bottom of it. Every time I use this mask, my skin feels more hydrated. It looks more hydrated. It looks more refreshed. I know that I'm going to be loving this one as our weather gets a lot cooler and my skin starts to turn a lot more drier, especially though under masks. When I have a day that I've been wearing my mask all day, this is what I come home and I immediately apply because again, it's just going to bring back that more hydrated, refreshed feeling. This has definitely been a favorite of mine. I would highly recommend it. I'm actually going to use the highlighter in the White Peach Duo. I'm going to use this highlighter on my face but first i'm actually going to use another another pencil brush and i'm going to use that for my inner corner and then my brow bone highlight the product that i wanted to mention for body is admittedly something that i've been um using for the first time pretty uh recently i was gonna say frequently recently but this has made such a crazy difference and this is just vitamin e oil vitamin e oil i purchased it from target i believe that it was pretty affordable this nourishing oil contains vitamin e an antioxidant which helps to moisturize and soften dry rough skin the suggested use is to apply liberally several times daily or needed to face hands legs elbows knees or other affected areas i saw someone recommend this on tiktok i got on shower tiktok somehow which might sound dirty but it's not but it's like what people use in the shower and what they use after the shower it's like a whole thing but I kept seeing people using either this kind of vitamin E or like a vitamin E capsule. I get really, really dry skin in the winter and it just, my knees, my, my elbows, my legs, like just nothing looks good. So I was like, you know what? This is affordable. I can get it at Target. Let me just try vitamin E. This has made such a difference. I mean, it will be the next day, like after I've showered and I've done everything, I will wake up the next day and go to like put a different pair of pants on and my legs still feel, they feel smoother. They feel silkier. And I don't have, like, I don't have nice legs. You know how like sometimes you're sitting next to your friends and you're like, oh, you got really nice legs or you can like touch legs. You're like, wow, your legs are really smooth and soft. Not mine. Mine are not like that. I'm always self-conscious about my legs. This makes my legs 
feel nicer, look nicer, but also one thing that's really, really wild to me, I have had a, basically like a rash on the inner part of my left knee for years. I mean, I'm, I'm literally talking eight, nine years. I've been to dermatologists, I've been to doctors, no one can tell me what it is. I've tried a steroid cream. They're like, I don't know, it's just a rash. You're probably always gonna have it. Nothing has ever been able to get rid of it. It's just gotten larger throughout the years and it makes me very self-conscious. Two times after I use this vitamin E oil, it is almost gone. It is almost completely gone. I can't believe it. I literally can't believe it. I, I've just learned to live with that and just be self-conscious in shorts and dresses and it is almost completely gone. This, I'm a big fan of. I'm gonna buy another bottle when I'm at Target the next time I'm there because I have just been loving it and I regret not using vitamin E sooner. <laughs> It's been great for me, so I would highly recommend it, especially if you deal with a lot of dry skin. Right, I'm going to add my mascara. I'm using this one from Hourglass. It's their new Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. I did one eye so you can kind of see the difference here. I did a mascara ranking video recently on my channel. I can put that one up in the cards if you would want to see it. And I won't spoil it for you in case you haven't seen it yet, but this one was ranked very, very high. And it's just become a favorite of mine. It is a tubing mascara and it just really doesn't move but I also don't have any issues taking it off. I don't usually have a struggle with getting my mascara off. The only time I really talk about if I have is because it's so out of the norm for me that if a mascara doesn't come off easily I'm like whoa this like I couldn't get this mascara off. It's very rare for me though and I don't know if it's because I double cleanse um, and sometimes if I have more elaborate eye makeup on like if I have used lashes or i have liner or maybe just more like colorful or pigment like pigments on my eyes i actually go in first with a separate eye makeup remover and then i will double cleanse and i just don't have an issue with my mascara coming off so even though this one is a tubing mascara which means like it's not gonna move flake smudge it's gonna stay on so long i don't have any issues getting it off and I just think that it is fabulous and it makes my lashes look so long and just so pretty like I'm just I'm such a huge fan of this mascara right, coming back into the white peach duo and I'm going to use the highlight and the Sigma F03 to highlight my face and the last items that I wanted to mention first up I had books you know me, I always love books. Like they're an essential just all of the time. But you know, something about fall, it can get you know, maybe a little bit more like spooky season and reading some thrillers. I am currently reading A Good Marriage by Kimberly McCrate. Kimberly McCray. I will link it in my description box, of course. More of a suspense thriller novel, which I think are so great. But I've read some really cute ones recently too. Uh, I just finished I Was Told Things Would Get Easier by Abby Waxman. I thought that was a really good one. I recently reviewed The Marriage Game by Sarah Desi, my blog at Chiclet Plus, and I thought that was a really, really good one. I'll go ahead and link my book blog um, in the description box. Also, if you've never visited it, it's just Chiclet Plus. We are actually getting ready to celebrate 11 years by we, I mean me. I am getting ready to celebrate 11 years since I started my book blog. I started it October 21st of 2009, which is crazy to think about this time 11 years ago, I was thinking maybe I should start a blog and see what the social media thing is all about. And now I'm sitting here working with Elf Cosmetics on a video. <laughs> I'll link that uh, down below because I do a lot of different book reviews over there. Chick lit, women's fiction, suspense, thriller, mystery, just a whole different variety. Um, but something about a good book, an audio book, just a, a Kindle book, a paperback, of course, I would always recommend my books, all of my books, all eight of them are on Amazon. You can just search me, Samantha March, but books, they're just always an essential. I couldn't let them not be in this video. Also kind of going along with that, initially I wrote down Netflix, but I really just mean like any good TV shows. I'm gonna line my lips with Whirl from Mac. Uh, Mitch and I are almost done watching Schitt's Creek, which if you haven't seen it, mm, I would highly recommend it. It won so many awards. I was so happy. It's 
such a good show it's so positive it's so uplifting it's so funny at the same time i need to watch season two of dead to me we watched season one definitely want to watch season two so if anyone has watched that let me know no spoilers though but i'm very curious if you guys have any good shows that you watch a lot of times fall for us definitely means sports it means football that's what we love for green bay packers fans up in here but we don't you know don't really know what's going to happen with the NFL season. So definitely having a good show to fall back on. And then I also have from e.l.f. Cosmetics. These are the new Sheer Slick Lipsticks. So I have two different shades here. One is in Golden Pear. And then the other one is in Black Cherry. So these are the swatches. I do really like Golden Pear. And it leans a little bit more towards that orangish side. So that's what I was initially thinking of using for this look. I'm actually going to use the one in Black Cherry layer it you can definitely build it up a little bit more too so when i first heard the name sheer slick i was kind of like ah i don't i'm not like a huge like sheer lip person i do usually like a little bit of color but the first time that i use these i actually used the black cherry one first and i was like okay and then i built it up a few more times and i was like okay okay so again you're gonna have a little bit more of that glossy finish to it but i do also feel like a darker lip is another fall essential the final fall essential that I have now that this makeup look is done is a good coffee order. And I'm saying this because I really want to know what, like some of your favorite coffees out there. It doesn't just have to be from Starbucks. We do have a Scooters here where I live. That's about everything though. That's all, that's all we have. But I feel like a, a good coffee drink is kind of like a fall essential also. I feel like there are so many fun different combos and variations that come out around this time. My personal favorite when I am going to Starbucks is a white chocolate mocha hot with added raspberry and no whipped cream. That is my favorite hot drink. I did recently try a white mocha latte with the pumpkin cream cold brew on top. That was really good because it was kind of combining the white mocha that I like. And I'm not usually a big pumpkin person, but it wasn't too overwhelming. Like it wasn't too out overpowering. I really did like that one but i know for fall and then going into winter that there's like so many fun drinks that come out so i definitely would like to know some of your drink recommendations but i feel like i had to include that in a fall essential after that though this is my completed fall makeup look while talking about some fall essentials i really hope that you enjoyed this video definitely let me know your thoughts down below what are what are some of your essentials for fall makeup beauty or otherwise another thank you to elf cosmetics for sponsoring this video thank you guys so much for your continued support to give me these opportunities because like i said it's just really cool to be able to do something like this so thank you so much if you enjoyed this one please make sure to give it a thumbs up i hope you also consider subscribing before you go and i will see you in my next video bye